The office door began to close. An officer grabbed the door handle, pulling it open to maintain a visual inside the room. As the officer pulled the door open, the suspect can be seen on CCTV, now standing and facing the officers with the handgun raised towards officers in a shooter's stance. That, that right there is, is what, you know, I, I hate to even put it in these terms, but the, the city attorney or the, the attorney for the agency, this picture right here is worth probably about five or six million bucks. Because for, those, for those of you listening, we're looking at a boy in a classic James Bond gun barrel stance. He's exactly. shooting through the, the open door of an office on either side, a police officer scared shitless, but withdrawing it at the sounds and sights of gunfire, getting ready to return it. Uh, this is a, a this is this this picture says so much about what our society is and our cultural rot. What's got wrong? What's gone wrong? Where are the fathers? Where are the involved parents? Um Every, there's just so much moral decay and spiritual decay and it's really terrible fleck is, i don't mean to make too much out of a like drew said a picture being worth a thousand words but when you look at this like what does it what does it do to you to see this in our schools yeah obviously it's horrible um but it's like this photo existing now hopefully will exonerate any sort of idea of police not acting correctly or police doing the wrong thing um, you think that's accurate, right? Like this basically like no one's yep. getting in trouble for that. Um, so which is like, that's what I kind of worry about in situations like this is police getting incorrectly cracked down on for behavior when they were doing the right thing and then discouraging police from protecting themselves and others in the future because of that idea of, well, if I do it wrong or if it's not what it looks like, then I could get in trouble. That's what happened with, I think, George Floyd, obviously in 2020. Yeah. Um, and then it just makes police like second guess themselves. And then once you're second guessing yourself, it's at your mm -hmm. own expense because that half second that you're thinking, ah, eh, should I shoot him? Is he really pointing it at me? And you know, that'll end in people dying. So it's a relief to see this evidence that backs up the police in this situation. The, the thing about this, uh, that makes it unique though, Fleckus is that this is caught on CCTV cam. So, I don't think the body camera would have caught the, the, the same thing. So this is. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. This they're is not even beef. facing in the door. Yeah, my beef with the public is like they're going to second guess this all day long anyway. And they clamored for body cameras. Well, like we got to say like they're, you're just a bunch of brutal thugs. You just go hunt on our black kids and blah, blah, blah. And then when you present them with the evidence like, no, People are dicks and people are actually shooting cops at an alarming rate and killing us. And, and here's your visual evidence. Most of the time, like a, a good majority of the time, people are like now at the point where they're critical of the body camera footage itself. Absent this CCTV, who knows? And let me, let me just obliterate the elephant in the room. If this were a little black kid and he were killed, you know, spoiler alert, the kid wasn't killed. I don't know that it would go this way. I, I don't even know that this CCTV video would make it out. And that's the, that's the other issue with the hesitancy of the officer. It's not just necessarily taking bullets to the chest or whatever. That's part of the job. What isn't part of the job is why are you fucking arresting me for protecting this principal and every other kid in this school? You're, you're actually throwing me in jail, taking away me from my wife and my livelihood and, and, it, it, for my kids and depriving my freedom in the name of what you're calling justice, which is actually just revenge.